Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman. And today, we're gonna be talking about a huge, giant star. The only reason our planet has any sort of life on it is because of this star. This medium-sized star is called the Sun. And without it, humans would have never existed. And our planet would be an icy mess. <laughs> so for today, we are gonna be talking about the layers of the sun and how the sun works. So the sun, as you can see behind me, is a huge giant ball of gas that lies in the center of our solar system. The sun's gravity keeps the planets in our solar system in orbit. Without the sun, all the planets will be flying all over the place. The sun, like our Earth, has many different layers. The middle of the sun is called the core and is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Just remember, most things we cook are about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun is more than 75,000 times hotter than that. After the core are the radiative and convection zones. These three layers are known as the inner layers. The next three layers are known as the outer layers. The innermost layer of the outer layers is the photosphere. The photosphere can go up to 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Then is the chromosphere, which can go up to 14,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Man. Lastly is the corona, the outermost layer, which can rise up to 900,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Besides the sun's core, the corona is the hottest layer. However, Many people are asking, how does light from the sun come to our Earth? Hmm. Well, in the core of the sun, there's a lot of hydrogen atoms flying around. Because of all this pressure, hydrogen atoms combine together. When four hydrogen atoms combine together, they form a helium atom. The energy from this combination gets released and travels through all the layers of the sun. Once the energy reaches the photosphere, that energy gets converted to heat and light. This light travels out of the sun and travels all the way to Earth and our other planets. This process to Earth takes about eight minutes because light travels really, really fast. Our sun is so amazing. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, science can always be fun.